see. I can see. Albert! Albert! Mother! Albert! I waited so long for you. Marvelous. Is the winter shawl you knitted for me? Mother! I can see. I can see too. Quite a feat destroying two subordinates. The ruder strain appears especially strong within you, Alyssa. Alicia, this is no longer your home. This is the dark realm where I rule. In two hours, the clock will strike midnight, and your 15th birthday will arrive. When that happens, you and I will become one, and together we will obtain eternal life. My... my 15th birthday? Are you looking forward to it? So am I, my dear. So am I. I can't wait. Soon we two will be united forever. <laughs> Alyssa, you might have defeated two of our number, but your mother was killed by a subordinate long ago. No! You're lying! She can't! If you don't believe me, you can go to hell and see for yourself! <laughs>
defeated the others, but you're no match for me. You're going to die by my hand, girl. <laughs> Nice trick, the <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
nice trick. <laughs> Philip, darling, father, Alyssa has laughed for the first time. What is he doing, Dick? Grandpa! Stop, Dick! Don't do this! She have to marry a man like you, a man with no spy, no spirit. <laughs> now you've seen the truth. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was your beloved grandfather who murdered your father. That's impossible. It's not true. <laughs> Sweet Alyssa, her small hands have grasped my heart and will not let go. But to think that the father of my beautiful granddaughter is Philip, it is more than I can bear. I consented to the marriage so as to protect the ruder bloodline. I realize now that was a foolish mistake. The man lacks class and has not a shred of dignity. He loses no opportunity to exhibit his stupidity and weakness of character. We Hamiltons have no place for men of that nature. Even Nancy has been affected by his rubbish, saying that she does not want to raise Alyssa to be a ruder. Of course, the existence of a ruder is fraught with danger. But given the gravity of the situation and the great responsibility of a ruder family, the obligation cannot be shirked. Any attempt to avoid such a duty is indeed shameful. As long as I am the head of this house, that man will never be accepted as one of us. 